few animals are as recognizable as the American bald eagle. Majestic, powerful, the symbol of our country. It's hard to believe that in New Jersey, there was a time when this bird was on the brink. It barely existed. We were down to one nesting pair, and the, the reason for that near extinction was because the wide-scale use of DDT uh, was accumulating in the fatty tissues of the birds. And the impact it had was when they would lay eggs, the shells would be too thin to withstand incubation. Birds would lay their eggs, sit on them to incubate them, the eggs would break. Not a great strategy for continuing a species. Dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane, DDT, was an insecticide used in agriculture. The United States banned its use in 1973. Along with the Clean Water and Clean Air Acts, this was the turning point for eagles and many other animals. We brought in young eagles from Canada where they were not endangered, and uh, that helped uh, to spur uh, the recovery with a second nest in 1989, a third nest in 1990. So the recovery in those early years was actually really slow. We really had, did not know for sure that this was going to be a success. Want me to send some people over there? Today, biologists from the Endangered and Non-Game Species Program, along with volunteers and staff from Duke Farms, are banding yet another pair of birds born in New Jersey. It's a fun tree. Sycamores are awesome. A nest has been on this property since 2004. The obvious reason for caring about these endangered species is that they are indicators of the health of the environment and what's impacting bald eagles. You know, if DDT is building up in the fatty tissues of bald eagles because they're at the top of the food chain. Guess what? It's also going to be in mother's milk and in human tissue, and it's going to have impacts on human uh, health as well. Specialists remove the birds from the nest, temporarily, of course. Mom and dad are nearby, but not thrilled. When we can intervene and get at the cause of something that's impacting an endangered species, we're really protecting human health. Once on the ground, biologists draw blood and chart measurements, which will be added to an eagle database. This fledgling is hooded to help keep it calm during the process, which also includes banding. A radio transmitter will allow researchers to track it once it leaves the nest. If we want to live with eagles in New Jersey, which I think everyone does, they require some respect from us in terms of uh, having some habitat area, not being disturbed uh, too often. It's one of those species that people are willing to make some sacrifices in order to have them around. I think it's a great thing. It's something that people can really relate to. Here in the Garden State, eagles have returned in great numbers, from one nesting pair to around 200. We've made an awful lot of progress. It would be a shame to go in the wrong direction. I mean, the fact that we have 200 eagles nests in New Jersey, that is wonderful news. This is one of the environmental success stories. In 40 years, we have eagles as a viable population in New Jersey. Sometimes, despite ourselves, we get things right.